This is Julie Sprankles with Charleston Home and Design Magazine, and I am here at Smith Killian Fine Art Gallery at 9 Queen Street in downtown Charleston. I'm speaking with Jennifer Smith Rogers, daughter of our Fall Issues cover subject, Betty Anglin Smith, favored Low Country artist. Jennifer, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for coming to the gallery. Now, first question, we did this huge feature on your family. It was so much fun to go out to your mom's cottage and really get to know you guys and kind of tag along for a day in the life. What was it like growing up with Betty as a mother and how did that shape your decision to become an artist? Um, it really was, it was such a joy. I mean, I feel really blessed that, you know, we've been in this situation and um, I, think, I think the main fact, the main thing is that she had the studio in the home um, so, you know, us as kids growing up, we were always exposed to her, her life as an artist. And, you know, it wasn't like we were in daycare after school and she was off painting somewhere. I mean, we were pretty much playing, you know, with the kids in the neighborhood, in and out of the house, and always, you know, seeing what's on her easel and, and always interested in what she was doing and even begging to dabble in her paints and, you know, paint with her paints as well. And so we got to do that from time to time. And um, so, I mean, it was... It was really, I think that had a lot to do with, you know, inspiring us to sort of become our own artists, even though we did not grow up, I don't think any of us grew up saying, you know, we're going to be artists just like mom, but um, it just sort of naturally happened that way, but I feel like, you know, because of her, the interest and passion for it came out very early, I would say, you know, second, third grade, so. So you were exposed to it from a very early age, started dabbling, when did you actually decide to pursue and I, we touched on this in the magazine a little bit, um, when you made that transition into actually pursuing becoming an artist as a career. Um, I would say, you know, I've started thinking about it in college. Um, uh, started out as an architecture major at Clemson, and Shannon and I were both at Clemson, and um, I was an architecture major the first year, and then after the first year I actually um, switch my major to fine arts and so we were both fine art majors and um, I think it was the art of architecture that kind of attracted me to that although architecture is a very dominant theme in my paintings even now so um, but I think even when we finished college it was scary to think okay I'm gonna go paint for a living so I um, started a graduate program in art therapy because um, I was just really intrigued by that field and had sort of minored in psychology and majored in art. And, um, but I went to, I think it was maybe three weeks into that graduate program and I immediately turned around and came back home and I had already started painting before I left and so I came back and just knew that I couldn't not paint, that that was just what I was meant to do and um, I couldn't abandon that, that desire and passion to do it. So never looked back. <laughs> was that when your parents were on the cruise and they got the call? <laughs> the call that you decided yeah. to pursue the art? Yeah. Well, Dad said, you just got there. <laughs> so At least they were already in the relaxed mood, right. so it probably wasn't too much of a shock. Now we're here in the gallery. We're surrounded by art from you, also your sister Shannon, um, some photography by your brother Tripp, and of course your mother's work. Um, you are a child of triplets. How is your artistic style different than that of your brother and your sisters? Um, I think um, that mine tends to be, um, I have more architecture in the work. Um, I do both landscape and architecture, but um, it's interesting because Tripp does photograph mostly landscapes, but um, his favorite thing, I think, is photographing homes and, and interiors of homes. So I think that's sort of interesting that we have that sort of similarity in the architecture there. And, um, but I think when we first started painting 15 years ago, um, you could see so much influence of our mother's work in, in our paintings. Um, but over the years, we've really sort of established our own styles. Um, Shannon's, you know, she tends to be a little more um, muted in her tones and mine are a little more vibrant but not quite as vibrant as mom's I guess so you kind of have some you know I guess along the scales of the color vibrancy there but um, you know, we're we're you know we've definitely developed our own style and that's been fun to see that come out so now we have a couple of your paintings here can you tell us a little bit about when this looks like something that you're working on now it is. This is um, part of a series I'm doing from having a show here at the gallery on um, October 1st. And so this painting is the fourth of four paintings that will be a series um, that are the they're, they're sort of a panoramic view of, from the Wentworth Mansion, the top, the cupola up top there. And so all four paintings together sort of make like a 360 view. 
from, from up there. So this is the fourth one. I'm still working on the sky here to finish this up. Now, you have your palette set up here. Is this where you do a lot of your painting here in the studio? I do. Um, I haven't always done that, but probably for the past year. Um, I started doing it just, just something different, and I have two little girls at home, so it was sort of a nice little escape to come in here and sort of like going to work, I guess, and um, I've loved it. This is a great big window to paint in. The light's great, and it's just been fun to um, be in here and you know talk to people that come through the gallery as well and, and not have to you know be tempted to do laundry and <laughs> clean the house and all the things that need to be done at home. So, so I've really enjoyed painting here. But I do have a studio at home as well. So some, I paint both. Now this one, I have to comment on this. This is a night painting. And I mean, I love the colors here. They're very, very rich. I love the blues. Is, do you do a lot of kind of night or dusk paintings? I do. I love to do night paintings. I love the drama of the night and um, you know, the, the, the lights that pop here along the city line. And, um, this, this particular one is actually the view from the old bridge um, in Mount Pleasant and I had walked down there that night because the moon was rising but there were so many clouds that you couldn't even, the moon was behind me and you couldn't even see the moon um, but to my surprise I got this great dramatic sky so <laughs> that's what came of that one so and that's not far from where I live as well. And now tell me a little bit about your family. You said you live in Mount Pleasant. I do live in Mount Pleasant um, in the old part of Mount Pleasant and I um, have two little girls, um, Ellie and Perrin, and they're four and seven. And so they, they really are already interested in, in painting as well. In fact, they, they're looking through my, can my blank canvases. Can I paint on this one? You know, and so I, I, when I go to the art store, I'll buy the little ones, you know, the little inexpensive ones for them. So they get to paint too, but with their own paints. But I have caught them dabbling in my in mine <laughs> paint sometimes too. When Ellie was two one time, I. I caught her painting on one of my show paintings. <laughs> no. Could be a reinterpretation. <laughs> well, so tell me about it. You obviously like, you had this show coming up here at the gallery. What other kind of shows do you have going on? Anything exciting? Um, actually, yes. Today um, we have an opening at the Wells Gallery, at, um, the Sanctuary at Kiowa, and it is a family show. And it's um, so it's Shannon and Mom and I, and we each have about six new pieces, and they're mostly mostly Kiowa landscapes. Um, and so. We will be going out there and actually setting up and painting out there for a little bit um, before the reception tonight. So, and it, I'm excited because we haven't had a family show. I think it's been about three years. Usually, we each have a solo show here at the gallery once a year, um, but just every once in a while we'll do, you know, like a group show where it's all of us. So, so it'll be fun to have us all showing together tonight. Well, good luck with that. Again, we've been speaking with Jennifer Smith Rogers here at Smith Killian Fine Art in downtown Charleston. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you.